Let's take our Bibles to Matthew 20 this morning. And uh, this morning we're going to be looking at uh, a situation where maybe we might find ourselves wondering if it's worth it to join on to God's team early in life or if it's uh, there's some sort of a benefit for waiting. Well, let me just put it this way. In this, in this particular parable that Jesus gives, he says there is a, there's one wage for all who genuinely believe. But those who get hired on early get the benefit of serving the Lord here on this earth and making a difference for eternity. And others might get hired on right at the last minute and not get a chance to serve the Lord on the earth. And so let me let me begin the parable and then I'm going to bounce around a little bit because it's like 16 verses long. But uh, here it is. It says, for the kingdom of heaven is like unto a man uh, that is an householder, which went out early in the morning to hire laborers into his vineyard. And when he had agreed with the laborers for a penny a day, he sent them into the vineyard. And then it, it gives a progression of went out at the third hour, the sixth hour, the ninth hour, the last hour, really, and, and hired more people in. And then in verse number eight, he says this, so when even was come, the Lord of the vineyard said unto his servants, call all the laborers and give them their hire, beginning with the last unto the first. Uh, and in verse number nine, it says, and when they, they had come and were hired about the 11th hour, they received every man a penny. Now, remember, that's the contract that the first people had. They, they all got hired on. Each hire got, got a penny. And so along the way, verse number 10, it says, But when the first came, they supposed that they should have received more, and they likewise received every man a penny. And, and when he had received it, and when they had received it, they, they murmured against the good men of the house, saying, uh, they, these, are, uh, these are last to have, have wrought one hour, just one hour, and thou hast made them equal unto us, which have uh, borne the, the burden of the heat of the day. But, they, but he answered one of them and, and said, Friend, I do thee no wrong. Didst not thou agree with me for a penny? Take that as thine and, and go thy way. I will give unto the last, even as unto thee. Is it lawful for me to do uh, what I will with mine own? Is thine eye evil because I am good? And so then he goes into that phrase, the last shall be first, and the first shall be last. Many are called, but few are chosen. And so I want you to understand that that last part of it really helps us understand something here. He says, the first shall be last, last shall be first. That means there's going to be an incredible equality uh, with the reward of eternity. It's not like there's going to be first, second, third class citizens in heaven. Well, you didn't work hard enough, so you have to go live in the slums of heaven, and you don't get to be as close to Jesus. Everyone gets the same thing. The difference is the person who gets hired on early gets the joy of serving the Lord sooner. We get to also live a life where we have opportunity to avoid the, the failures of sin and the baggage that goes with that. People hired on later have lived with all of that all their lives and they get less of God early. And so we have to make sure we understand what we're talking about here. It's really easy to say, well, I'll serve later because people are getting away with serving later. I'm not so sure they're getting away with anything because there's a great expense for living for yourself on this earth. There's a tremendous toll that it takes on us. And so God saving you early is a good thing. God saving them later is a good thing because saved is a good thing. Eternity with Jesus is a good thing. But we cannot look at, I've served longer, shouldn't I get more? We need to look at this one thing. God loves us. He saved us and he's given us an eternity with him. Praise the Lord. Lean into that. Enjoy that. Live that out. Have a great day.